Greetings. Let's learn about named functions. This is a super cool part of Google Sheets now where you can create your own named function. Check this out. In this example, I've got some sales data from three years and uh, I just want to find the percent change from one year to the next. So the way you do that, if you were just writing the function out, you would subtract the first year from the second year. So I'd go F7 minus uh, E7 and then I would divide that by the first year E7 so uh, it would show me that I've had an 11% growth from year one to year two and I can drag that over here and find the same thing for years two to years three 69% growth there well what if you wanted to do this without manually typing those things in if you need to do this many times in many places, you could create a named function. In the data menu, select named functions. Oh, let me get my uh, head out of the way here. You can click add new function down here in the bottom and name it percent change. Uh, this finds the percent change between two numbers. Okay, and then what we're going to have here, we're going to have um, year one, we'll just use that. Year one, and then year two. For, uh, formula definition. Now here's where the magic happens, where we define what we want this to do. We're going to describe here by saying we want year two minus year one divided by year one. So anything that you've defined as an argument in the above section, you can now use in the formula definition. We're going to click Next, and it'll actually let us describe what these are. Okay, so first year. We're not going to put much here. Um, you know, year one uh, for the example. Uh, argument description, year second year, year two. Okay, if you needed to create more detailed explanations for yours, you could do so. And then you click uh, Save, and then we'll close out of here. Now we can go to this blank spot and go equal percent underscore change. Check that out. There's the function that we just created. And it's got all the details per what we put in here in the description for it. So now we can just percent change and then we can select year one okay that's this one and then comma year two okay that's this one boom and in the same way we can copy this over and we get the same answer now that's pretty cool uh, you can use this for anything you can dream up it can create just like named ranges do a lot of simplicity where it would have been a little bit cumbersome especially with longer functions that you don't have to write out except for that first time Hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you have fun naming your own functions and creating them. And hey, if it was helpful, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It helps get these in front of more people who are looking for answers just like you. Thanks a bunch. You're awesome.